who here went to uh, Catholic school growing up. I went to 12 years. I went to St. Anthony's and then St. Paul's. I briefly went to All Saints Regional. All Saints Regional. That one, All Saints. That really pissed me off. Guys, if you ever find yourself in the position to name a Catholic school or a church or a charity thrift store, none of this All Saints shit. Pick a fucking saint. <laughs> it's like being on a high school football team called All Carnivores. <laughs> Let's go, All Carnivores. I hope we beat all indigenous. They have a great offense. They're very offensive. I think I'm gonna get a, I was thinking about getting a smartwatch. I, there's too many devices, man. I got too many devices. I got a Roomba. Here's a question. If you ever found yourself in a Simpsons treehouse of horror and your devices turned against you, which of your devices do you think could murder you the quickest? I figured mine out. It's definitely my CPAP machine. You guys know what a CPAP is? A CPAP is just another robot that lives in my house and its job is to give me mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR. I had to go to a sleep study because I was tired all the time and I was falling asleep at inconvenient moments. A sleep study is a weird sleepover at a fake hotel room where they figure out exactly how many times per night your fat neck tries to choke your throat like the Nazi from Inglorious Bastards. Sleep studies are always awkward. Mine was extra awkward and it was my fault. A sleep technician hooks you up to a bunch of electrodes and sensors. Mine's name was Sean. Sean says to me, so if you need the bathroom during the night, just say, hey, I need the bathroom, and I'll come around from the booth and disconnect you, and you can use the bathroom up the hall. So I was trying to be funny, trying to lighten the mood. So I said, oh, thank you very much. Thanks. Uh, real quick, where do you guys keep the liquor? <laughs> and Sean says, what liquor? I said, well, you expect me to sleep through the night, right? Who can do that without top shelf booze? Sean was not happy. <laughs> he says, sir, this is a sleep study, not a business lunch from Mad Men. <laughs> so I did what I normally do when my humor backfires. I uh, doubled down. <laughs> I said, well, do you need me to run out for a quick liquor run? I probably have a couple bottles in my car. <laughs> And then Sean said something very weird and unexpected. He said, sir, are you, are you awake right now? <laughs> Here's what had happened. So I opened my eyes, which I didn't realize were closed. I fell asleep while he was explaining the bathroom, and then I dreamt the rest of the conversation, <laughs> including his remark about Mad Men. I said, did I just fall asleep while you were talking to me? And Sean says, yeah, dude. You fell asleep while I was explaining the bathroom, and then you started mumbling about liquor. <laughs> so long story short, I was issued a CPAP machine. <laughs> <laughs>